Hey y'all, welcome back to Reptile Outdoors. At the beginning of this channel, the very first video that I made, I told you guys that my goal on this channel was to find all 40 plus species of snakes in the state of Florida, native species. And if we can find some exotics, we'll find some exotics. So what this video is gonna be right here, is this gonna be the start of what we're gonna call the lifeless videos. So this is just basically gonna be a countdown of what we've seen on the channel so far, what we have found, because we've done pretty good. We've seen nine species already on this channel out in the wild, which is awesome. So in this video, we're gonna start counting down the different species that we have found out herping. Guys, the first snake was gonna be the first snake I found on this channel, which was an Everglades racer. In the clip, I call it a black racer because I had never really seen an Everglades racer before. I knew that the, it looked a little bit different than a black racer, so I wasn't 100% sure. So I go back and look and do some research, and in fact, it is an Everglades racer. And they are very common in this area of Florida. Did not know that either, but I'm learning as I go. Some things I know exactly what it is, and I've handled them before, and I've been around them before. Other things, different kind of uh, variations and morphs, I'm not real sure what they are. Different localities, I'm not 100% sure. But in this instance, we found an Everglades racer, so check this out, guys. All right, guys, there's my first snake of the day, right there. Old black racer. He's just sitting as still as he can. He doesn't think I see him. Cool little dude. Let's see if I can't grab him. He'll bite the crap out of me though. Oh, he's he's slithering his tongue. They're cool snakes. They like to bite. That's a pretty cool snake. Wish I would've got the chance to catch it, but trying to hold the camera just didn't work out. But we did get a good shot of him. We did get to see him pretty good. And this next clip, this next snake, snake number two, I was out with my buddy Dale. We are walking this old uh, cobblestone brick road and we found some ringnecks. So check this out. All right guys, well we found our first snake. Little ringneck and he's musking all over me already. Calm down, buddy. If I can get him to calm down. There we go. Little ring neck snake. I'm sweating, <laughs> sweating to death out here. <laughs> We've been out here over an hour now, me and my buddy Dale. And this is the first one we've actually found. Little guy, but pretty. Goes. Ringnecks are a pretty cool snake. They're one of the smaller species of snakes. They have a very strong musk. If you ever catch one and they musk it, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. A stinky little snake, but they're very cool. Very awesome little snake. Very handleable. You can handle them really well. They don't bite. They don't try to bite, but they will musk you. So next snake, snake number three, is a banded water snake. One of my favorite snakes, I love banded water snakes, and they're a very common snake. We find them all over the place. I've seen more bandits on this channel than any other species of snake. And this particular snake, we're out on that old haunted road, Volco Road, and I seen one sunning himself on a piece of old wood, and I got to pick him up and handle him. So check this out, guys. All right, guys. Nice little banded water snake. Really pretty one. He's musking me. He's a really nice one. Now he knows I'm not going to hurt him. Cool little dude. Pretty old guy. Cool. Let him go. 
That was pretty cool, wasn't it? I love those snakes. Have you seen the very beginning of the clip? He tried to bite me, but they are really cool. They're a very easy snake to handle. Sometimes they'll poop on you and bite you, but a lot of times, they, what I've found on this channel so far, they're pretty calm. They're pretty easy to handle. Now we got snake number four, which is a brown water snake. Didn't get to handle this one because he was in the water. And let me tell you something, it was a beautiful, beautiful snake. Where I was at back in the uh, Apopka Wildlife Drive, I got up on this little concrete thing and was looking around and was panning around trying to see anything I could see. And then bam, as soon as I looked down, there was this beautiful little brown water snake. I've caught brown water snakes before. They're a really cool snake. And this one was absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, there's our first snake. It's like a baby brown water snake. Very, very cool. Beautiful little guy just sitting there. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Look at the colors on his back. Beautiful animal. Next snake, I was out driving with Amber in summer, and we went down the dirt road again, Volco Road, that old haunted road, and as we were driving by there, we were just gonna go through there to go to where I was actually wanting to go, a different place, and on our little drive through there, we seen this beautiful Scarlet King snake. This snake is awesome. So this is snake number five. Hey guys, we just found our first snake. It's a Scarlet King snake. A lot of people confuse it with a coral snake, but my, the quick way that I used to tell between a coral and a uh, scarlet is a scarlet has a red nose and a coral snake has a black nose. This is really cool. Really, really cool. That is awesome. Scarlet King snake. Summer wants to hold him. Yeah. Oh, he's cute. Look at Can him. we keep him? No, we'll let him go. We're not going to keep anything. Look at the camera, Summer. That's super cool. All right, go ahead and let him go. Mm. Okay, I'm oh. down here. Well, go ahead, just let him go right there so he can go off. There, there he goes. That was a beautiful snake. I absolutely love Scarlet King snakes. They are awesome. Next snake, snake number six. We are with a yellow rat snake. We were coming back from Herpin. We really didn't see nothing down the road we went to. And we were coming home. We are going down another road. And all of a sudden, I see this yellow rat snake coming across the road. Beautiful yellow rat snake. Probably one of the prettiest ones I've seen around this area. It was absolutely beautiful. And the first time summer ever got to see a yellow rat snake. All right, guys, we got a yellow rat snake. All right, Summer, come grab the camera. And the flash, I don't want to catch him. Got him. All right, now hold it on. All right, guys. Got a cool little yellow rat snake. Pretty little dude. Really nice looking guy. Very cool. Very cool snake. They are so chill. This is one of my favorite, favorite snakes. Yellow rat snakes. I like all the snakes in the rat snake family, but these ones right here are so chill. They don't musk. I've never had one musk on me, bite me, or anything. They're just a super chill snake. I'm going to go take a couple pictures of him, and we're going to let him go. Those are cool snakes. They're one of the chillest snakes there is. Absolutely love rat snakes. I love yellow rats especially. But any snake in the rat snake family, I'm a big fan of. Corn snakes, gray rats, black rats. I'm a big fan of those snakes. Even ones from other countries. Uh, Taiwan beauties, all of them. They are beautiful. Next snake we got is an eastern garter snake. So we're on snake number seven, y'all. All right, guys, our first herp of the night. A garter snake, real pretty one too. 
That is a beautiful, beautiful snake. All right, here you go, Summer. Hold the light on our kitchen. Got him away, bit me. <laughs> here, hold that. Here we go, guys. There's a cool garter snake. That is a pretty dude. Pretty, pretty, pretty snake. A really pretty one. Little garter snake. Very common snake. This is a very common one. But absolutely cool animal. Alright, we're gonna take a few pictures and we'll let him go. Awesome. That was a cool snake. And one of the first ones Summer seen, she absolutely loved that snake. We actually brought it home for a little while and tried to feed it. And then we ended up letting it go in a couple days. It was just an absolute beautiful snake. Fun snake to have, they're cool snakes. Garter snakes are absolutely a cool snakes to have. If you ever catch them out in the wild and you wanna take home a pet, that is a good one. That is a really good one. And also there's all kinds of more she can get in the pet industry. Next snake we got guys is one of my favorites. Absolute favorite. One of the hardest ones to find sometimes. They can be real tricky because they blend in with stuff and they stay perfectly still most of the time. And that is the pygmy rattlesnake. So we're at snake number eight. All right, we've just seen our first pygmy rattlesnake sitting right up there next to this tree. And you want to talk about a pretty guy. That is a pretty snake. First one. That snake was beautiful. I mean, absolutely. If you, if you don't like snakes, that snake is absolutely beautiful. Well, the snake, next snake we have, snake number nine, is also a very beautiful snake, but again, is also venomous. Just like the pygmy, this is a dangerous snake. The coral snake is actually probably the most venomous snake in the United States. It's related to the cobras. It's a really cool snake, but it's awesome. It's an elapid, elapid I think it is. Absolutely awesome snake. So here we are, guys, snake number nine. All right, guys, here we go. Second snake of the day. Eastern coral snake. Look how pretty this dude is. That's a nice looking snake. This snake right here is highly venomous, so I won't be touching him. But he is pretty. As you can see, he's got a black nose. That's how I can tell between a scarlet king snake and a coral snake. So the scarlet has a red nose and the coral snake has a black nose. That's a pretty big one too. That was a beautiful snake, wasn't it? Actually, all the snakes in this video are absolutely beautiful. I love snakes. These snakes were really cool. Some of them I was surprised I found so early looking, especially the Scarlet King snake and the coral. Those are two you kind of your more difficult snakes to find usually. The other ones, pretty common. Everglades Racer is only the first one I ever seen. Another beautiful snake. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and for being a part of this channel. I appreciate that, guys. I really do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please hit me a thumbs up and put a comment in there. Because I plan on doing this every month or so as we go on, kind of do an update of where we are on the life list of our snakes. Because right now we're at number nine. We've found nine species out of the 46 species of snake there is in Florida. And we've already found two of the six venomous species we have in Florida. So we're on to a good start. Hopefully we keep this momentum going and we find some really cool stuff on this channel, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys out there. Stay herping, y'all.